Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and we're going back with PvP. Uh, as we can see, this time I've only dropped down to 1395th place compared to like yesterday, where uh, I was dropped down to like near 6000th place or something. So, what I can basically gain from this is that at least just from last night or you know yesterday basically ever since yesterday that uh using at least for this week anyways using my uh setup that i have right here for defense worked out a little bit better than it was me trying to use turtling last time um now just a disclaimer that does not mean that turtling is bad it just means that uh because of the fact of how like the meta change there's always like these subtle metas that always happen every single week so like sometimes turtling works sometimes turtling doesn't work most of the time i'm not i don't have the luxury of actually having a third actually good damaging setup like my fairy stars this time okay so i don't get to use this very often so i have to use turtling most of the time um but that doesn't mean turtling isn't good um a lot of times turtling is actually really great it really just depends on like the psychology that's going on because a lot of times it's like people like for example by watching this video you guys notice that I, I notice a lot of things that other people are doing so i'll adjust my setups to counter what kind of like is the tr going trend as of right now and the same thing just applies with turtling sometimes tur turtling works to go against the trend and stuff but sometimes it doesn't um, and it doesn't work out so it just depends Everything just depends on what's currently going on at the moment. But this looks like it's going, it, it's doing a little bit better uh, than a, than what I was than the, um, compared to the defensive setup that I was using yesterday. Um, and today I actually want to try out a, another defensive setup just to see how that does. But without further ado, I'm actually going to go ahead and swap out uh, some of these setups real quick. So I really shouldn't, but I'm going to go ahead. And use my fairy stars right here actually no 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 i'm actually gonna use my stroke of midnight now that i have the uh organization 13 boosters right uh now that we got in union cross my lexius that i'm copying like that i'm using three times right here in stroke of midnight is actually be very it's gonna be a monster a complete monster yeah 40 percent so there's gonna be a monster so it might actually do more damage to my fairy stars wood at least according to the power right here so i'm gonna put that second fairy stars third and we're gonna see how this works out but let's go ahead and jump into some games so our first opponent is going to be philip who's in 744th place with an average of 22.5 we're gonna go ahead and fight you Now, I remember I read a comment from yesterday's PvP video about someone asking about why the heck do I use status ailments round one compared to round two uh, to get rid of the ailments. And uh, there's a couple reasons for this, okay? One, yes, you can use status ailments just round two to get rid of Asuna and then use it round three. However, the problem with this is that... Uh, I, I, okay, more like the problem with your comment was I didn't know what you're if you were either referring to my defensive setup or my attacking setup Because uh, if, if you're referring to my defensive setup, then maybe you weren't watching the video correctly or something because I had stated uh, At least I believe I remember stating on that video That you want to use the status elements within the first defensively within the first two setups to be able to make your opponent skip their status elements compared to uh, attacking where when attacking you want to use your status elements uh, at the very least get rid of Asuna turn one or two regardless of where you're attacking and then turn three you have to use it to make him skip medals so but the for defending you have to have status elements for both turns one and two uh, otherwise, your status ailments are just completely going to be useless as a defender. Because uh, remember, as a defender, round three, you go second. 
you don't go first, which means that your status ailments are completely useless and pointless to have uh, for round three. So, at least in terms of defending, that's the logic behind that. So, I'm actually kind of curious how much damage I'm going to do right here uh, with the light here. And I think he's using just defense boost 4 max, which is good. I don't have to worry about 5. Let's see how much this does. I'm actually really curious. I'm going to use my Nova too. Uh, I'm still not going to catch up, but I'm just curious to see how much damage I do. Huh. Oof. I barely made 16 mil. Jesus. That's pretty rough. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and try putting Fairy Stars right here in the second spot just to see if it's actually stronger than my Stroke of Midnight uh, and just kind of test that out. But, all right, let's confirm. All right, we're going to go ahead and fight Katie over here at 645th place with an average of 18.7. Very, kind of curious to see how much damage they're going to do. So they got Axe. Axel's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. I think they're at 3 mil? 7 mil now? They might... Oh, no, yeah, they... Yeah, that's a seven star. <laughs> that's a that's a seven star Psyax. I can't do anything about that. Jesus Christ! I can't wait till I'll be able to uh, seven star my own Psyax plus. Just quite literally only because of the fact it has extra attack. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. This could be. It's just gonna be ridiculous. A lot more consistent to use too compared to my uh, Lexius Plus in terms of damage, uh, just simply because of the fact you can put it anywhere in the Keyblade, uh, and it and it won't have any damage fall off like Lexius Plus does. Did they put status elements on me turn one? I don't remember. I don't think so. I mean, I, I won this battle. The reason is, this is, huh. I didn't actually get to see what medals they used either because I was talking, but I, I won, I won this one. All right, round three, let's, let's see this. Hey, yeah. So I don't know. Huh. I'm actually surprised I got a little bit more damage that time for some What happened there? Oh. Ooh, key I think that's carrot number five, right? I haven't. Ooh, I'm actually surprised someone's using carrot number five. I really love that metal, but like, it's just not viable to use, unfortunately. I won right there, though. All right, good game, Katie. Okay, so using the same setup, we're gonna go ahead and fight Mar over here at 360th. 306th place with an average of 
Uh, this is going to be the area that I'm going to probably start be struggling. Um, I could probably still get a win in this area, but like once I start facing like top 200, that's where I'm going to definitely be struggling. So. Oh, they only have defense boost 4, but not max. So they might actually... I don't, actually, they only have defense boost 4. This is interesting. Maybe they're using turtling round 1? No? No turtling. They, they might be using status ailments. There's HD Zexion, but that's not enough. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a status ailment like I expected. Okay, I guess they just have a bunch of metals with extra attack. That Okay, so it, he's just trying to get triple threat to go off to get rid of the Suna. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing there, Mar. You're just trying to like, and you're activating all your... Okay, I got you. And now he's definitely going to be using Status Sandwich, the second Keyblade. The question is whether or not... Yep, there's the Paralyze. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mar. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he won this battle. Yeah, no, he's, he skipped quite a lot. My HD Vaditas had extra attack too, so like that, that really hurt me. But it's all good, because I won round one, so it's honestly, it's just going to come down to round two. Alright, round two, let's see how this goes. Oh, I just realized I didn't get the stat. Oh, crap. I haven't got rid of his Asuna yet either because he made me... My my stained glass in the second setup was the one that had triple threat. So he actually avoided my status ailments completely. He's gonna. He's just going to use Asuna right here. Crap. He's probably going to win. I only did 13 million damage too. Yeah, no, he's going to win. I already lost. Alright, good game, Mar. <clears throat> Alright, so we're still using the same setup, and this time we're going to fight... Twin over here at 300th place with an average of 23.2. So, good luck, Twin. Okay, so this person does have defense boost 5. I was I was starting to doubt it at first, but rip. I really hate fighting people with defense boost spot. I swear to God, I feel like uh, status ailments and defense boost five are like kind of like direct counters to each other. Because it's like ooh that that lag right there. Because like sure, defense boost five will mitigate the damage that I'm doing. But at the same time, defending wise, or just fighting me, yeah, just defending wise in general, like my status ailments are gonna make you skip your medals, in which case you're gonna lack damage. Like they, they both, they both basically like achieve the same end goal, but just go about it differently. So yeah, it's it, it's a very interesting dynamic.
Ouch, that hurt. Okay, but I still have a Cena. See, this is the problem that, that like I'm noticing. A lot of people are just, and this is what I'm, like, I'm trying to like get across. A lot of people are just keeping their attacking setup for defense and it, it just doesn't work for them. Like you can't have just your status ailments turns two and three when defending. You have to switch it up for your last try. Um, like, like, you, you managed to out-damage me there. But in terms of status ailments, like, that's... Assuming I won that one right there, round three wasn't going to go well for you. All right, so what we're actually going to be doing right here is because of the fact that I'm starting to hit that point that I mentioned before, uh, where I'm going to be struggling, <laughs> my, my little, like, struggling area and stuff like that. I'm going to be using my uh, turtling slash status ailment setup, setup round one again. Uh, so at the very least, I can get rid of... Asuna round one was sleep um, and then on round three at least for attacking I'm not going to be using this for defending uh, for attacking then and then stroke of midnight uh, will kick in with the triple threat round two I mean round three but other than that let's uh let's jump into it okay so we're actually gonna go ahead and fight Luke over here who's at rank 471st with an average of 22.3 so good luck Luke So we're gonna get their Asuna to be wasted right here. Looks like they're gonna get rid of my Asuna at this point too. <laughs> I don't think I'm able to beat him this time now. Yeah. I had a feeling since because of the fact he got rid of my Asuna round one, that he might have do it round two. Yeah, no, I definitely lost this one. I mean, just him reaching 33 million alone was probably an indication already that I was probably going to lose anyways, but oh well. Good job, Luke. So I just kind of realized it right now. <laughs> Uh, but I went ahead and changed my, my beginning setup real quick as well. Uh, just because of the fact that I, I realized that since we're not planning to be defending with this current, like, setup anyways, um, I figured I could actually get rid of the turtling medals, uh, for round one and just put in some damage medals as well. Uh, since I am going to be using the main purpose of my first Keyblade is just simply for right now, uh, for attacking is to just get rid of status ailments using the sleep and such. Uh, like, yeah, with these guys. So I figure, you know what? It's not meant for defending, so I might as well put in damage medals in here, just in case. But other than that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and find a target. All right, so we're actually going to fight Brandon at rank 337th place with an average of 22.2-ish. 
Good luck, Brandon. So when I was actually making my setup right here, I was actually uh, stuck between deciding whether to use my key art number 12 or my Vexen Plus. Uh, I really wanted to use my key art number 12 just because it's so good. Um, it would also provide some strength, general strength buffs as well. However, what I ended up being stuck between the two because my Vexen Plus has defense boost 4 max, whereas my key art number 12 only has uh, defense boost 3 max. If I was doing just a straight turtle strategy using this first setup, it doesn't matter what defense I have anyways uh, skill because of the fact that I'm trying, like, I'm basically throwing that round anyway, so having a defense skill doesn't matter. But because of the fact I am trying to do a little bit more damage with this current build of my first setup, um, the defense skill actually does kind of matter a little bit more, so I was kind of stuck between the two. I might be able to be him. Depends if he has defense boost five or not. I might st I might still fall short though. Oh nope, he has defense boost five. <laughs> I lost. Yeah, see, so like he easily has like another thirteen mil on me. Yet. I'm not gonna be able to catch up to that. Like almost, but not quite. If he didn't have the defense boost 5, I, I might have been able to beat him. Maybe. Alright, so next up, we're actually going to go ahead and fight Taeyeon. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Uh, who, who's at 358th place with an average of 22.8. Good luck, Taeyeon. God, all of the extra attacks. This is ridiculous. Oh, gross. That's so gross. Is that a seven star? Oh my god, someone already seven starred Sora and Symbol. Ew. Jesus. Oh my god. I, I, I already lost. I lost. There's nothing I can do about this. <laughs> I already lost. <laughs> Expect me to get to 44 million? Jesus Christ. I got murdered right there. <laughs> Good game, Taeyon. All right, so our next opponent is actually going to be Bazinga at 350th place with an average of 23 point about eight, nine, eight, nine, whatever.
Okay. <clears throat> I was wondering, I haven't really seen any extra attack in this. Okay, so I might be able to actually beat this. Okay, maybe not. It's it's still possible like ooh, they only have defense boost three, don't have defense boost four. Yeah, I can still I can still definitely make this. It's definitely possible. It's all up to RNG uh, on how many times does the defense boost four actually happen. Okay, there we go. I was able to beat him. And we did get rid of the Asuna turn one as well. Alright. So now my triple threat kicks in right here. I can actually get him to skip their two medals. Come on. Trigger. Hey, there we go. So now I got my paralysis boost. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nova right here as well. All right, let's see how he does. Skip, skip. I see, okay, I see you over there. You had that VIP medal. Uh, in case you don't know, that VIP medal actually, like, cures you about, it, it has an Asuna ability. So, it was interesting. I think they might have been trying to uh, go on the off chance that, like, maybe you didn't have your paralysis booster and it was trying to go off the RNG. Oh, crap, am I actually am I gonna lose? Ooh, and oh my god just barely just barely good game bazinga that was pretty good all right so this is our second to last try and we're gonna go ahead and fight megster over here at 182nd place with an average of 23 point like seven we're going to fight you Jesus, are you kidding me? None of them triggered. Ouch. That's actually a very low chance of happening, of having all four of those not trigger the sleep. Unless the opponent just has like 100% sleep resist or something, which is possible uh, at these at the, at the highest tiers of the game. Uh, you'll see so many people with like prime medals. Um, they'll just have, I mean, and they'll have like all five traits on their prime medals too. So it's not, it's not impossible for something like that to happen. Jesus, I got murdered right there. I mean, chances are that they they might still do more damage than I will in this second round anyways. That the status ones just doesn't matter. Let's see how many points this person gets.
Okay, okay. That's not that bad. I could still beat him. Oh, and they're only using defense boost 3 max. Yeah. Do they have a second boost? Or a second defense? No, I don't think they have a second defense skill. I'm definitely going to be able to beat him. This might actually be their weakest setup, potentially. Very possibly, this might be their weakest setup. So I might actually get destroyed. Round three. And the, and the way how I know that is because the damage difference between their first and second setup was just so drastic. That's how I that's how I can pretty much tell that that was probably their weakest setup round two. So Starlight right here is probably going to be their second strongest setup. I meant to use my Nova. I forgot. See, they even have their Kyrie here, so chances are chances are this is probably their second set their second strong setup and it's almost an exact replica of my, my own starlight too so far in terms of setup anyways yeah see so you know I'm, I'm I'm getting I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed Jesus all the extra attack Yeah, see? You see exactly what I mean. Like, this this score right here, the 40 million, is a lot closer to, like, the 50-ish million that he had round one than he did, like, round two. So. Good game, Dexter. All right. So, because of the fact that this is now going to be my last try, uh, I want to try out a different defensive setup and see how well it does. Uh, kind of like how I did yesterday, how I was trying out uh, the more offensive attack setup to see how well that did. Um, so I, what I'm going to be doing this time is that I'm actually going to have my Stroke of Midnight first uh, with the double, triple threat to get rid of the Suna uh, as a defender and also have my boosters carry over to round two as a defender since I go first round two. And then from there, I'm actually going to be using my Fairy Stars. Um, the last half of my Fairy Stars is still the same where I use King Mickey to get rid of all my gauges to force my last two medals to tap um, to make him go to sleep. And I'll be having a little bit of damage right here with these two, and I have defense boost 4 max right there. Okay, so the plan right here, at least this is what, uh, but yeah. Uh, but the plan right here is to uh, get rid of Asuna round one and hopefully also win round one. If I don't win round one, that's okay though, because I can still do a little bit of damage right here round two with the fairy stars. Um... As well as put them to sleep and make him skip their first three medals. So, it, I kind of just want to, again, this is just to test it out. All right, I don't know how well it's going to do. Um, and then on my third keyblade, I have my Starlet, which is my best setup. So, we're going to go ahead and battle someone just to lock that setup in for when other people fight me. Uh... So for this battle, we're going to actually go ahead and fight Kianos over here at 195th place uh, with an average of 22.5-ish. Okay. I think I fought you before, actually, Kianos. Yes, I have fought you before, Kianos. <laughs> I remember the Almighty Luna Diviner uh, title. Yeah, remember this uh, this this battle and setup is not meant for attacking at all whatsoever. It's solely for defending. Uh, I remember seeing a comment in the comment section earlier, asking like, why don't I just uh, swap my keywords around and click confirm without having to battle to save my setup? Um, and that's not how it goes. You don't uh, that like the game doesn't save your setup just by swapping it around and pressing confirm. Um, you have to actually battle someone in order for that setup to actually be recorded in the rankings for other people to actually fight against.
So yeah, Kinos won, but that was just to be expected, because like I said, this setup is meant for defending. Alright, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, as well as the fact that if you happen to come across me in PvP, feel free to record the battle, upload it somewhere, and send me the link. I might actually have it as part of a video in a future video. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.